What is going on, y'all? John D. Saunders here. I hope all is well. I've got a quick tip for you in using Webflow called Open Graph. Now, what Open Graph does is it provides an image on social media that showcases both your title, the meta description of your website, and a nice crisp image right here. Every website that you launch should have this attribute because it breaks up and creates a pattern interrupt when people are scrolling through on Facebook. So if you posted the homepage, for example, and I'll show you an example here so you can see what that looks like, it will work like this. So if I do dimeconsulting.com, which is the name of this client website, I take this URL, I jump into Facebook, and I drop this into my post. I'm just gonna drop the link here so you can see what that looks like. It'll show that nice open graph image here, as well as a title here. So when I post this, for example, it'll show a nice pattern interrupt when people scroll through on their Facebook feed pertaining to that content. So with that being said, it's really easy to set up. All you do is go into the SEO attribute settings on your Webflow website. So that's in the designer. Click on the left-hand side for pages and then click the little settings button next to that page. Let me go here actually so you can see that better. Then scroll down to open graph settings. The info that shows up when sharing content on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and Google Plus, you'll see that right here. Now, of course, you can duplicate the content pulling from SEO for the title and meta description, and then you're going to add the open graph image URL here. Make sure that that size is 1200 by 630. And then all you have to do is literally go here, upload the image. And then once you have that in image uploaded, I'm just going to grab one of these so you know which one. So for example, if we're using this one, we're just gonna hit settings and we're gonna hit this little link here so we get the page link there. And then all we do is go back here, scroll down, drop the URL into there and boom, we have it. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use the original image that we created. But again, it's 1200 by 630. Set it up, make sure you do it for all of your pages. You can even make different ones based on the page that's um, showing up in the search results or the results for your social media post, and you're all set. So add this to your checklist, make sure you get it done, and I hope this helps. Peace out, y'all.